What's up, y'all? Uh, welcome back to uh, Sup Podcast. This is episode 139. I'm your host, Lawrence Deloach. And with me, I have my main guys on the trigger, Luke Trovisi. What's up, everybody? Motherfucking Luke in the building. And then we got Chris Cheney. The fuck is up? All right. All right. It's a lot of things that's up this week, man. I'm really excited just to get right into it, man, because we got a lot of things to talk about. Uh, first thing we want to start out by saying, it's fucking video game season. It's Xbox mm-hmm. and PlayStation 5. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know you guys are big gamers. So, I mean, Chris, Luke, you guys always talk about playing video games. Me, on the other hand, you know, I play my Nintendo here and there. Uh, my, my original Nintendo. <laughs> Your like OG. <laughs> my OG Nintendo that I still have from like 1990. You, you have, a, you have a, a box, a big ass TV just for that? Just, like yeah. that with the RBG or whatever? Just for that, you know, I do have just for that, and I, I'm super excited. And um, yeah, so we got a PlayStation Five. Uh, did you guys uh, attempt to purchase one, or you no? I held off. I plan on getting one eventually, but like all this craze and shit, like I'm mm-hmm. cool. Usually, I pride myself on having like the release console, like mm-hmm. my Switch, both my Wii's. They were day one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this one, it's like too hectic. Like more people care about PlayStation and Sony shit. And Nintendo shit. So I let you guys like have at it, and I'll get it when I can get it. You know what I mean? When you can get it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Luke. No, not me. I ha- I didn't go for it. My brother works at GameStop, so he was able to secure one for himself, and he's trying to figure out. Oh, he backdoored to himself? No, he didn't backdoor. He just, you know, he didn't backdoor. He backdoored himself, bro. Not really. <laughs> he had to do it on the <laughs> website like everybody else. Um, but he just happened. He just knew. He just you know, knew when it was dropping. When it was dropping. Oh, yeah, insider yeah. trading, but not backdooring. Mm-hmm. So, so Luke, let me ask you. So you didn't. I mean, if 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 he knew when it was coming out, you didn't want you didn't want in on the action because they're reselling. I mean, you know, right now the what is it? The standard disc edition is is going for. You know, we're talking nine hundred, eight hundred dollars. So I know. Uh, <laughs> I, he uses my account so that he could get in. Oh, gotcha. my, like we share an account. So, gotcha. so it was like just one per customer. So I was like, ah, whatever. It's fine. I didn't feel like making a new one. Okay. And I was like, I know I'm going to get this thing. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to let my brother figure out what he wants to do. I might just get one for free. You know, what do you, I mean, this is, this is what's insane to me. I, Cause you know, I, I mean, I can take it back to, I remember me and my boys, we camped out for PlayStation uh, threes Back in the days, I mean, overnight trying, you know, getting these so we can try to make a couple of dollars. But it's insane what people are willing to pay for these these video game systems. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. I can't. I don't remember them like reselling like this. I remember people like the original Xbox. I remember there was a craze and people were buying them for like 500 bucks and selling them. But I don't remember like the shit getting almost up to a thousand dollars. It's like 900 right now. Yeah, that is correct. It's going to keep going up. I don't know if it's, I mean, I, yeah, I think I, if, it depends on what, what Sony does, obviously. If, if, the, uh, if, the, if they don't continue to push out more units, uh, yeah, then you, we are, we are going to see PlayStations being sold for over four figures. I mean, it's, it's the way things are, bro. Like, like I said, I remember years ago, I mean, you know, it, it, the avenues, the, the reseller may have not have been, may not have been stock X, but dude, eBay was a thing. There was local meetups. I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah. 7,000 numbers. That's number of sales is over 7,000. Average sale price is $871. What I love is how does fucking uh, stock X check these to see if they're fake do they play it what's going on what's there <laughs> oh i didn't even think about that l Me either whoa oh, yeah do they gotta turn them on yeah like i want to know like what what's their what's their method now all right so <laughs> we we actually never discussed console war stuff now where are you guys where what's the temperature in the room as which is the best system i'm a nintendo guy personally mm-hmm uh, so I'm not really like in the console wars, but I guess if I had to pick, I would go Xbox. Uh, no, I'm I'm a play I'm a PlayStation guy. I, I think, I mean, I've been Sony since when they came out. What '95? I mean, at the end of the day, I, I mean, I did buy one Xbox, 
forgot. I think it was an Xbox Two, if I'm correct. But oh, the, the 360? Part, 360? 360. 360. Yeah, Xbox. Yeah, I bought a 360. Um, but other than that, dude, no, I'm definitely a uh, I'm a Sony guy. Yeah, I. Uh, so for a while, I was a Nintendo boy, like you, mm-hmm. Chris. And then, uh, and then I moved. I went to a PS. I had a 64. Then I had a PS2. Then I had a 360. And I saw all of my friends playing online on PlayStation Network for free, and I got fucking salty about it. So I got a PS4. Ended up having to pay for online anyway. And yeah. uh, I'm sticking with PS. Uh, I'm sticking with PlayStation, man. I'm um I'm Xbox by proxy of my friends, you know, which yeah, is yeah, yeah. it's a weird determination. Like I don't know, like who, like whoever copped the first system was like the the leader. Yeah, I grew and up we- on single player games, so I I just I like the single player experiences on PlayStation. Yeah, and Halo was a big one for me. Halo, Halo was, was like a trending thing when I was in high school, so I had to cop a box. But I, I had a similar thing with you. It went 64, wait, Sega, 64, then Xbox. But I mean, like, the, the war is, like, kind of done. It's weird. People just cop both now. They cop both. I think PC won the, eventually just won the, the, the war. I... But the weird thing is, is the hype around the PS5 is so crazy. There was not, there was not even close to this much shit with the Xbox. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, the Xbox died really quickly, super quick, and people are like vaping in them now. Like, what's that mean? <laughs> and then they set on fire. Yeah, Lawrence, did you see that shit? I did see it. I did see that. <laughs> I saw it without context. I was like, why is? I was like, why is this person Xbox on fire? But then they're just vaping with it. It's like. Dude, the internet is crazy. Um, crazy. Uh, L, did you? Are you gonna grab this? Did you try to grab this? What are you doing over here? Uh, I, I don't play enough video games to justify the purchase right now. Uh, and when I say that, I mean I, I play maybe two games: John Madden football and fucking NBA 2K. And um, so I, I wasn't in a rush. I did want to purchase one to resell, but uh, you know, it's like you you had to be on it. It was back in September when they were doing a lot of pre orders. Yeah. And I just kinda like I wasn't on it at that time. I kinda like wasn't home. I wasn't by my computer to to do it. And then now it's like, you know, I, I follow all these like soul links and you know, all these people that give us the the links to Walmart and Amazon, but I mean they're flying, bro, because people see the profit in them. Yeah. Yeah, it's really crazy. I mean I'm I'm going back to your initial thought of like what uh, how do they verify this shit and that's very funny like <laughs> yeah how do you verify a PlayStation <laughs> that's like, so you, funny what were the what were some of the launch titles for this do you guys even know like I I paid no attention because I was like yeah I'm not trying to fight these. yo Spider Man Miles Morales Spider-Man. that's the only one that oh Spider Man dude that yeah, everyone keeps great. talking about Spider Man so. dude that shit is lit he got a he they cleaned him up too bro he's mm-hmm. he's got a nice fade now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Everybody is in love with it. And like all the suits are crazy. And apparently the graphics are amazing. Yeah. So everyone keeps talking about that. Um, I think, uh, what was I going to say? I, I am, I mean, like I saw the, the NBA 2K. It was, eh. mm-hmm. uh, you know, like I said, if you buy one, I, people are going crazy for these things, man. And, and my, my only thing is it, it definitely will you're going to get your hands on a, a system soon. So yeah, let's, absolutely. You know, so yeah, let's just, you know, let's just enjoy, you know, just relax. Uh, <laughs> but things that people won't get their hands on. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally, you will never touch a pair of these. Uh, Travis Scott, everyone's favorite hype beast extraordinaire, uh, influencer of the kids, musician of the musicians. Uh, he was doing a, he, we saw him, he had some type of, uh, collab with sony uh we didn't know what it was at first but uh you know we we see now that you know it's starting to be a little bit more clear uh he was uh he's wearing these limited edition uh sony playstation nike dunks that uh they're doing a a giveaway five five fucking five pairs five pairs five pairs five pairs Five. Might, they are giving you one of the pairs off of those fucking corny PlayStation employees. Bro. <laughs> I mean, there's probably going to be some sort of regular release, I assume. They can't just offer five to the public. I mean, I don't know, let, let's, be, let's be honest. I mean, how many of the, the past PlayStation uh, 
Nike collabs have been super available. That's true. That's super true. And they've made this one the most extreme out of all of those. But again, we've talked about this before. There are, there are minimums when you make stuff, unless, you know, you have someone make them by hand. But I'm sure in the case of these, I think it's going to be like every other release where the, you had to make a minimum. So uh, there was this distinction in the email uh, from, that we got from Travis uh, where it said that, like, this has nothing to do with Sony or Nike. Like, we're doing this on our own. So mm-hmm. maybe they only got five pairs out of the limited run that they made to give out. Well, uh, maybe they're fakes. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're fakes. <laughs> you know what's even crazier to look at? All right, so we have this up on the screen now. The last sale, somehow, uh, someone already sold these for eight grand, right? I don't the know, lowest... bro. That swoosh is kind of sus. Swoosh is sus. But it is sus. Yo, it is sus. <laughs> look but... at it. Well, this is, the, this is the thing here, is that they're putting less effort into the rollouts on some of the, Travis's stuff. Yeah. Like, the, I think the thought has less become about the product and more about the marketing plan. Because the merch is garbage. And like Luke is saying, like, that, like based off this image that StockX has in front of us, it, it's not looking that great. Yo, get a fake pair, guys. Fuck it. <laughs> get a I'll, fake you, pair? Bro, I will write fake on it if it will make other sneakerheads feel better. But, like, fuck it, dude. Look, you're not getting a pair. (laughs) I'm going to get fakes. (laughs) Fuck it. (laughs) Oh, fakes, yeah. I mean, like, I'll write fakes across them. Fuck it. Am I I wrong in that? Is is that a weird thought for me to have, that they're they're putting more thought into the marketing than the actual products now? In a sense, yeah. I can see it. Listen, I got the the apple pie hoodie on, and uh, fucking, it's pretty plain. It's pretty disappointing, like, seeing it in person. Like his his name just carries so much hype that we think there's like value to this shit, right? That mm-hmm. of course that's what hype is. But when you look at this shit, like, all right, this dude had us buying a chicken nugget pillow. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the best item on the entire menu, Doug. But it's a chicken nugget pill. It it the it, the irony here is mind boggling. It's through the fucking roof, dude. Through the roof. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like they're laughing at us. Really, sincerely, because, all right, so this shoe, the PlayStation 5 itself, which is yeah. the, the thing that actually is worth something here, if in, in reality, right? I don't know what a cost is to make a PS5, but they're reselling for under double the price, okay? Mm-hmm. This costs $14 to make. Right. It is the lowest ask, which I know this is not a real low ask, but the, the numbers on the screen here, it says over $25,000. Yeah. Correct. That's correct. That's like someone's salary in the Midwest. Yep. That is correct. I mean, guys, listen, if there's, I mean, if they're doing a giveaway for five and then the majority of these are obviously going to friends and family. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is what you're going to see. If you, if you, if you don't, you're not going to see a retail pair of these. They're not going to be at fucking Nike town or, you know, or whatever, you know, it's not. So if this is the, the means or the method of the release, then yeah, you're going to see these extraordinary prices. I mean, we've seen friends and family, uh, uh, PlayStation, um, uh, friend Air Force Ones, and we're at this dunk craze right now. So yes, these are going to be extremely, you know, extremely high. Uh, but wait, let me circle back to my point. Now, Lawrence, what's your point? Do the, like, this is an ugly shoe. Am I wrong? It's all right. It's not, I mean, obviously it's not worth, you know, even $6,500 on the resale market. But, you know, once again, you have fans of this, you know, of, of PlayStation, Travis Scott dunks, Nikes is limited. Yeah. It's going to fucking fetch, you know, this type of money. It's just this, the way it is. (laughs) This is like the this is like Nike talk shit. This is like the dream shit that we make up in our head. Mm-hmm. Oh, like the PlayStation a PlayStation Dunk with a reverse swoosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yo, literally, it's at the point where like this is imaginary shit coming to life. This is I mean, crazy. Yeah, dude, it's the people who were sneakerheads before us, before like my generation, are the guys who are making it now. So of course, it's the guys who are on Nike Talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be a dude who's like, dude, wouldn't it be awesome if this happened? Yeah. Let's look, let's look at the uh, the merch real quick here. Let me see if I can go on the site. You guys yeah. didn't cop any of this shit, right? Nah. I did not purchase any of the merchandise. No, All sir. Right, 
hold on. Let me uh, let me try to find the right thing here before I uh, whatever. You you we know someone that bought the merch, right? The Discord had some merch shit, right? Yeah, Chris bought the yellow hoodie, the motherboard four hoodie. I mean, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but I'm like I'm sincerely confused because like there's there's been minimal effort seemingly put into this stuff. Even uh, as, Arden- as as all the Travis Scott merchandise, there's it's very minimal effort. It's just a lot of weird shit, a Travis logo, you know, and and, and that's it. Yo, I love this do not disturb door hanger. <laughs> yeah, dude, with the with the with the Metal Gear Solid exclamation point. Come on, dude. Yes, exactly. This is congratulations. That that is that is Travis Scott's merch. It's ridiculous, you know. <laughs> yeah, this neon room sign for three. Oh fuck you! That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> fuck if you don't like that, you don't like NBA basketball, my friend. Mm-hmm. My thing, my thing here is that High Snobiety was also like, "Yo, these this all is garbage, but let's help you get it." Like they're, they're in their headlines are like, "This sucks," but like it's Travis. <laughs> Well, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb marketing. D- no, they they're cover like it's not marketing. They're covering it. I guess it's kind of marketing because they're like you know being like so, look here, but yeah, it's you know they're covering it the same way that we're covering it. So we're giving it marketing too, I guess, right? But we're all agreeing it's dumb. Yeah, that's true. We are all agreeing it's dumb. There's a co- a jumbo commercial poster. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Look, I hate you so much. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's that's neat. Somebody could buy that. <laughs> yeah, there's, want, there's, okay. No, go L. No, go no, I was just gonna say, like, I just don't like. There is it one person? Like who? Like what? Uh, who is doing these? I have to see the design room. I have to be in there and just look at everybody and see what they're doing. Well, obviously, I mean, obviously, the, the garbage that they're putting out, people are purchasing. So, I mean, you know, facts, at the end of the day, big you know, it, so uh, you know, we can we can shit on it, but I mean, these kids are eating the shit up, and 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 at the end of the day, some of this stuff does have uh, resellability, and uh, and when I say that, yeah, you do have to hold it for a little bit longer, but yeah, some of the shit you can fucking flip for decent money down the road. So, uh, I I think. I think it's very, uh, it's interesting. This is the first time that I can remember where, you know, pairs were actually given a shot to be given out. So, um, but true. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting, man. So. I really want to see what's going on with the follow-up of this. Cause I know they have to do something other than that. The, the five, um, Twitter was really funny. What is, what are some five highlights? shoes? Um, <laughs> I mean, just, just, it's just funny to see 35 year old dudes mad about a PlayStation dunk. Five, <laughs> five shoes, man. Five, how how going to be five? I'm tight. I'm fucking that, tight about it. <laughs> remember, I, I remember early in the podcast, mm-hmm, uh, yeah. like episode we're in single digits. We did a, we did a thing where we looked around the room and we were like, all right, what can we slap a Supreme logo on? And then like, that was the joke because the accessories were getting crazy. Like yeah. this is that to another level, just with Nike dunks and Travis Scott. Gentlemen, this is what makes me want to bring me to an, uh, another episode of uh, Luke's merch. Uh, I have a flower <laughs> pot in my room. Let's, let's slap a sub podcast logo on it. <laughs> And call it a day for all our plant mommies out there. Sup podcast plants, plant holders. Hilarious. Pots. <laughs> so, all right, let's. I think I think we're we're intrigued by the fact that there's five pairs of these dunks that we've all put in for that none of us are gonna fucking win. <laughs> no, no. Let's let's talk about other dunks because I'm kind of like off of these. Tra- I want some. I want to talk about dunks that are kind of obtainable yeah. and that are coming out very shortly. Uh, that we actually uh, fuck. We saw uh, them put Travis Scott in a fucking photo with these, which are the cactus plant uh, flea market uh, crystal dunks. I'm not gonna say the Swarovski, but yeah, we got the crystals coming out uh, this week, and um, yeah, it's it's very uh, it's very interesting, you know, to see. I'm trying to pull up the green color. So we covered the the white that was out. 
Um, but now there's uh, a gray and a green that surfaced. I'm actually not even sure if uh, if it was just like bad lighting with the photo. Well, no, Chris, there was no white. It was it was always like a grayish color, like that that light color. And then there was then we saw the green colorway. Uh, that Travis is wearing. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I, there was at least two. I knew. Um, yes. but the green mm-hmm. ones, the green ones seem cool. Um, I'm trying to find a f- picture. The the gray slash white or whatever ones are kind of taking up my feed here. But these are also cool. I like these. I've seen uh some people on Instagram have them already. These are these are just cool shoes. If you ask me, I mean, I think I said that before, right? Like the bedazzled look. It's just like an interesting mm-hmm. play with these, especially since it's supposed to be a skate shoe. But they look really fucking good on feet. Oh, we saw we saw Kylie Jenner with them. Uh, mm-hmm. and and then we saw Trav. Uh, I haven't seen too many other on foot shots. You said you've seen them. I haven't seen much. Um, but I am I am looking forward. There's a nice hoodie. There's some nice apparel that's with it as well. So. Um, oh yeah yeah yeah. There's a rug too. There's right? a rug. There's a a Swarovski uh, sweatshirt that says "Just Do It." Uh, the, the only thing about the only thing with uh, this release is the way I don't think it's going to be on sneakers, which either way it doesn't fucking matter. But it's going to be on cac on the Cactus website, yeah. and um, and if you know if you've ever tried any, try to get anything from there, it's a fucking it's hard. Yes, it's hard, and and the the problem is there's just so many. You know, a lot of the times you have uh, you you have the bots, and and everything is you know. Mm -mm, it's hard you know uh i shitted on the first cactus nike collabs right they had like those vapor maxes with the weird swoosh right it was like all wiry Mm -hmm. and shit Mm -hmm. she she did a 180 for me that that the chick cynthia who uh is like the head of this brand like she can't miss now I don't yeah. know if I I mean I think I was a minority when I didn't like those original Vapor Maxes and those other shit she was doing, but like now like the shit she's she's just been like tagging every shoe and it, the, all the punches are killing. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, she's she's doing really well. Yeah, she good even, for her, man. You saw that McDonald's merch she did? <laughs> you saw it? That was cool. <laughs> well, I'm not I'm not mad at anything she's been doing lately. Yeah. Uh trying to see if there's a pure platinum is the other color this one's called spiral sage so the sage the the greens green. are fucking nice yeah the greens are super nice uh i wonder there there hasn't really been a uh, uh it hasn't been a retail price point that's been that's been established yet but if it's anything like all the the normal um you know sw- uh, crystal s- sneakers <laughs> they're gonna be up there <laughs> yes so yeah. um, I, I want to see, I want to see what the market is, and once again, it's going to be a lot of uh, Kylie Jenner fans that are going to go crazy for them. So I'm looking forward to, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to attempting to purchase. Yeah, these are cool. These are these are ones I like. I'll try to get my girl if I can. You know what I mean? Hopefully, they come mm-hmm. in women's sizes. I'm sure they will. Mm-hmm. I sh- I'm sure they will. But they're they're very nice. Uh, very nice shoe. Um, Speaking of let's and 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 this is gonna this is a interest this is a good uh change up in terms of what we're just talking about in terms of like the bots and everything like that. Uh yesterday, Saturday, we had the uh concepts, they did the the release of their tur turducken turduncan mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. SBs. And uh a lot of people were when concepts concepts was extremely they were like first come, first serve on the website good luck blah 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 and everyone was kind of like yo concepts you setting this up this is going to be bot central like people are gonna fucking eat these alive and um and they did what union did in terms of a release they set up it was nice sweet it was beautiful there was you know password you had to you know how do you spell turduncan they made they made you do a captcha um and it it's it it made me like you know like to get through and and when you and it made me feel like even though i i didn't get the unions and be, but it felt like it gives people a fair shot yeah yeah no it's totally fair and it's the right way to do it right now at least following unions footsteps there dude shout out to unions for figuring this shit out huh yes union they were they definitely were the first ones and and they and they got it right 
Well, I mean, just a shout out to everybody. They put in some effort to try to figure out the best way to get around bots. You know what I mean? Like, I think this has been a community effort, at least by the brands themselves, in order to figure out how to get these nerds. So Orchard uh, Skate Shop did something really cool for the, gra- for the Grateful Deads. Mm-hmm. Uh, what they did was they made you go to a website. Uh, like a, They made you go to a link on their website, and then you had to answer, I think, eight questions mm-hmm. on there. Uh, and then it would bring you to uh, another page where you could go purchase the shoes from there. And even there, there was like a grab bag situation. And it was basically like a random number on a on a board. And you'd like click on one. And if uh, if it was dunks, uh, you, you'd get a pair. And if it wasn't, it'd be rocks. So bots would be buying up the rocks. Oh, fire. Okay. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So like it was probably the best rollout. And it was like almost like a little game, too. So it was like, even if you lost, you were like, that was kind of a fun ride, you know? Yeah. So I, I like, or, shout out to Orchard. Orchard did some shit. That was a while ago and uh, nobody really covered it. And that was like really cool that they did that. There was a couple different like good missteps as far as the releases. There was one store, I think we covered it a while ago. They made you wear the pair out. So you, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. I think that's a lot. A lot of stores, they do that sometimes. I think um, Ubique, if I'm correct. Uh, Ubik or Ubik uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Philly. Re- recently purchased by Atmos? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Or yeah. there's some sort of merger, yeah. Yes. Uh, like certain stores, you know, certain skate shops, like if you can't wear them out, then, you know. And I think these are the things that obviously that everything, uh, this system's not going to be perfect. No. But at the same time, when you have, when you have a, a, a shoe that many, that people want and the bots are just fucking eating them alive, I mean, Union, you know, Concepts, these are two places, uh, you know, I, I would hope that Kith would do shit like this going forward. But, you know, I don't know, you know, certain stores, it's just like, I don't give a fuck. Just the product is moving. The product is moving. But yeah, yeah, I, I think that's something that needs to be done. Also, congratulations, Lawrence, as you got one. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was extremely uh, I was extremely happy. I just, you know. It, it like I said, it, you you go in. I went into it thinking like, ah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be not easy to get, or you know, it's gonna be a, a quick sellout. And you know, it, I it, it fucking the the protections they put in place allowed it, and it was like really dope. I'm looking forward to getting the shoe. I think the shoe is, it's it's definitely it's an extremely nice uh, SB, and you know, we've we've had this wave of low SBs that everyone's wanted. But to see a really nice high and the packaging done well, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, buddy. Boston represent. I know. I feel like I'll have to wear those like when I perform, like when I have shows in Boston. And shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. In 2023, when we can perform again. Don't well, we say can... that shit. Don't say that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that shit. Don't put that juju on us. Come on. No, nah, but you so special box, all that, and you're going to keep them pristine, right? You're not going to flip them or anything? Uh, I don't think I'm going to flip them. Like, like I was saying earlier, I, there was a moment when I was like, you know what, just sell the special box and then purchase the regular box. But I feel like, you know, I, I think a lot of things, like some those special boxes that Concepts do, extremely dope, man, from like the, with the lobsters and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of, you know, thought process that like, you know, Dion Point and those guys put into this shit. So I'm kind of just like, yo, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm gonna keep. I'm I'm excited for it to to get a pair of these, man. I actually can't wait to wear these. So concepts for like actually, you know what? Boston stores in general, but I don't. I mean, Bodega and Concepts, uh, mm. generally speaking, have been like some of the best guys with the storytelling shit and the extra mm. effort. But I don't want to like cape both. But I will say, Concepts. I was lucky enough to do the. Do you guys remember like the um the Coke Asics that they did? Yeah, they used to, you had to go up to a window and, and get them. It was like a brick, right? Yeah. So at the time, I was working for Slam Hype. And uh, Frank, big bro, who's been on the show, friend of the show, Frank the Butcher, um, he made a call for me to go to that thing and get behind the scenes. I was like in behind with the shit. I'm going to about the name drop, by the way, heavy. <laughs> uh, so uh, he calls Dion and Dion's like, all right, yo, we, yeah, we can let him in. So it's me and the writer we had at the time, right? Mm-hmm. The, sh- the elaborate shit they built for this was the most insane I've ever, like, so it, they made it to look shitty, right? Because it was supposed to be like a trap house. This is like the pop, when they had a pop-up shop in New York mm-hmm. City. 
Mm -hmm. didn't have the store yet. It was just the pop-up shop. So going on the inside, the shit was the most pristine. Like you would have thought that they had a full like construction company doing this one thing. So yeah. I go, and it but looked horrible on the outside, but the, the whole experience was great. You had to go through the thing. It was like a long hallway, long, dark hallway. You couldn't see anything, plywood all over the place. It's basically like the restaurant shit they have right now outside of every restaurant in New York City. You had to walk down that. You had to say the code word, which I don't even remember what it was, but it was me. It was Emery Jones. It was Dion and the writer we had at the time. And uh, they were just talking to me about all the elaborate. Sh well, he wasn't even talking to me like uh, fucking Emery. Emery came in and uh, he was explaining all the shit that they had to do to make the shit happen. Like all the permits and shit. They do everything right, man. Concepts really deserves more credit than they do get. I mean, and then they're already high up there. Yeah. Like all Dion was telling me all the fucking tr trials and tribulations of making sure that this shit was just going right. The shit they had to do to make sure it was just for the release. They didn't make any money off of that pop-up shop and had that experience. No, they just did it for art's sake. Yeah. It was like, uh, it was like the Yeezy tour. Uh, what album was that? Lawrence, you went to that one. What? The what, what? <laughs> yeah. The, it was it Yeezus where they, where they had the mask and the whole, the whole yeah, elaborate yeah, shit. Yeezus. Yeah. Yeezus. Yeah. yeah. He, he was just doing it for the, they were doing that shit for the love of the game, bro. And mm. it's shit like this that makes me like, yeah, like we should really appreciate them more. Yeah. Lawrence, are you going to put on the cranberry laces? I or think the that, butter laces. Uh, honestly, I, I'm going to say this and, and this is, I think that's why I want to keep them because I like the cranberry laces. Will I, I might fuck around and depending on how, how it turns out, I might wear one cranberry, one butter. Ooh. Like I like to let my sides touch. Pause. Flex, flex, bro. Wow. Double but, um, flex. <laughs> I think that's, I mean, they're like, you know, those, like, I think they're are really like, they're well done. Like, you know, I, I see a lot of, I saw some people on, on Instagram wearing them and I was like, oh, they, they have like a really nice, like fall look to them. Yeah, and, they do. And, and even, I think even, you know, I think it's just a nice little pair of sneakers, man. Yeah. And the thought, yeah, just the thought process behind them too. Crazy. Even just like you get the simple tee with the nice duck hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Along with, like, because everything is so elaborate, right? Everything is so thought out, but to just have this simple T-shirt to go with this whole crazy thing. Like, yeah, it's, it's almost like putting PlayStation on a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a duck. <laughs> it's a duck. Now, we also had another uh, SB release this week that was uh, met with some fanfare but a lot of uh a lot of people were complaining about these and these were the atmos uh sbs that came out uh oh, this, the, elephant. This, the elephant uh sbs and a lot of people were complaining because there was uh there was mismatched a lot of the elephant print uh was was fucked up it did not come out like you know it was smushed it was Ooh. it was uh yeah it was not done well bad quality control huh yeah well, that's something nike's notorious for mm-hmm uh, but we're we're in that we're in that that stage of like I don't know like I, I saw a pair and the dudes like it just looked like really bad and I was like I wanted those really bad to the point where I was like all right Lawrence maybe you can you'll flip your you'll sell some shit that you have lying around but like it gets to the point where I'm like I don't want to pay resale for a pair that that can come to me fucked up and I'm pissed yeah. off yeah for sure. Um, we also have, uh, we see, we're seeing more pics of the, uh, Supreme SB lows, uh, uh that mm -hmm. are coming out. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am extremely excited. Hopefully those are going to be, I, hopefully if I see if Supreme now when Supreme releases those on their website, that's when they need to come up with that fucking anti-bot, you know, protection. Yeah. I think we should all like, there should be an unspoken rule where it's like, come on, man. Like, just for these, for these, let's just be cool. <laughs> let's put some fucking anti-bot protection, please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything else you can bot up. We don't care. <laughs> you know, you can take your hoodies. You can take your North Faces. I don't care. Do some bot protection. Do on some bot it. protection for the SBs, man. Uh, now, are you, guys, are you guys paying attention to those, uh, those Nike uh, on the sneakers? They're doing the story of the dunks. Are you guys doing, are you guys paying attention to those? Of course I am. Cause Luke's been fucking hitting <laughs> shit. Fucking Luke's been hitting shit like crazy lately. 
oh my god i got infrareds on monday wednesday mm-hmm. i got veneers and then saturday i got midnight navies that's what i was we were, i was gonna say that i was gonna talk about the the veneers man I, I know you uh so you're so like you're getting the the exclusive access from sneakers you're getting the the, the notification no 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 notification there wasn't like an i didn't get exclusive access for anything for this week i don't know i just hit a lot this week really yeah we- like there was no i think because i was part of the first one the first restock i didn't mm-hmm. get a chance at the second one a lot of people are uh, well that's my my friend uh andre he was saying that a lot of times you know something it goes through that that wave you you have that cycle where you're just hitting you know three four straight pairs of sneakers and uh you know i was going to talk to you about the 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 navy uh jordan ones because a lot of people wanted those and you were able to secure your size yeah i was able to secure my size what happened was when when the concepts thing dropped I just I I had the the window open on the next screen, just popped mm-hmm. in my info, and then went back to the concepts thing, which I think made me lose. It's it's funny because uh, Chris, did you did you attempt to get the Midnight Navy ones or no? No, I attempted at the the Platinum Dunks, and I have nothing. They were like, "Fuck you, dude, get out of here." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those the Midnight Navies. I wanted them, but I think I think like like so many people were. You were either trying to get the the concepts, or you were trying to get the the Midnight Navies, man. Yeah, it was really focusing. one or the other. And I figured like I'm I have a better shot at the Midnight Navies than I do the Turduncans. So let me not waste my time. You know, I'm kind of surprised that they have a lot of double drops at the same time. You know what I mean? Like on the sneakers app specifically because like doesn't surprise me because it's sb and it's uh and it's uh jordan which i feel like those two brands are always like those inner companies are probably uh competing with each other constantly well what do you what do you mean by like double drop like what do you mean on chris well so like you, you know like on some of these release days like with mine specifically like the sakai's were also dropping at 10 too so, like, mm-hmm. you really had to choose, but not only, like, choose if you wanted a Sakai the colorway, but I wanted the dunk more than the other ones, but I wanted to give it a shot. You know what I mean? You always mm-hmm. want to shoot a shot if you can take it. So, like, you know at 10, you got, you got to be, like, right on your phone and press it immediately. You got mm-hmm. to have all that shit ready. Yeah. But then you have to then go to the Sakai and try to get that, but at that point, you're already done. Yeah. It's over. Well, well, no, you, I mean, with, you know, the different type of releases with the, like when it drops at 10, you still have a couple, you have a minute or two to get your, your entry in basically. Yeah. But I mean, like, so it's not do like you, you though. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. You do. Yeah. You, but because, all right, if you, for listeners out there, if you on sneakers, if the drop comes out at 10 AM, you, the, they don't process the gotums until around three to four minutes after the 10 AM. So you have, that's what it's called, like a, a, Leo, a Leo drop. So they got Leo drops, they got shock drops, and they got the, the fucking, the, uh, the raffle joints, the 10-minute. Yeah. The Leos, bro, you have, like, from 10, 0, 10 o'clock to, like, 10.03 to try to get your entry in. And then after that, that's when, you know, it's over. So when, they, when they come in, though, there's, there's a line to it, right? It's not a, it's still, it, here's the thing, and this is supposedly how it works. It's still some sort of raffle. It's just a, it's still a, just a quicker raffle. Oh, I guess so, maybe I took the line part too literally because it's like, all right, we got you in line. We yeah. got you in line. Yeah. And then, okay. So I was reading it as like, uh, all right, so I'm now I'm, I'm the first, I'm the most I could be for the platinums. I'm the second I most I could be for like what the black color I went for. And then, you know, the third mm-hmm. like that. Nah, the when when they do a shock drop, like say like you know like the Jordan, you know reserve or like you know a, a, a shock drop, yeah, then that's like a first come first serve. But like the the fucking ten eight, like you got like a you got a couple minutes to get your entry in, and then from there, that's when after that, then that's when they start processing those payments. Where, so you know it is what it is. I mean, it's still I mean still have a, a small shot based on you know the way things go with Nike. So. I mean, I've been Jubilees. No, I was right there and I could have, but I was, we all could have, we call, we all probably were like, "Eh." I I looked and I was like, Nope, I'm good. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I know I am way more on the app now, which, you know, they, we, uh, we know. Yeah, exactly. 
And it's worse because we know that that's the, what they're trying to do. Of course. Yeah. They... Like, even just my ignorance right now about the line thing, like, you guys mm. know that I'm not necessarily the most active buyer when it comes to this shit. Like, a couple of these silhouettes, I'm like, yo, I got to have those, and I usually have to do a backdoor, like, phone call situation yeah. but the fact that i'm even on sneakers more and i was there for the jubilees i said no i tried for all these other shits and like i couldn't get like i'm a part of the herd now i'm a sheep yeah man yeah I get you it. might as well buy up everything hey yeah, you I, might as well bro i know it's like <laughs> but even, here's the other problem with like so luke you hit those three yeah you went you anticipate you hit none of them right but you, you right. still take the shot when you can so but now you're three in the hole well, I canceled the infrareds. The, the infrareds were for Chris on the Discord. Oh, okay. So they were for, they were for a toe. So I don't usually support his weird pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll help him out when it's toe stuff. Like, I got you. Uh, that's, like, that's just like a friend thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that one, he got a pair already, so I canceled those. Uh, but yes, I am, I am a lot of money in the hole right now. I'm about $300 <laughs> in the hole right now. I love it. Imagine if you, if for with the moon, like the planets aligned, and then you hit on everything in one week, like you're out. I'm broke. Two racks. <laughs> I'm out. I'm broke. Like on a on a crazy release week, you're out two racks. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's 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 talk about that because that's when it does become like when you start realizing you're like, all right, a lot of this shit has to get sold, or yeah. I have to flip yeah. a lot of the shit, and and I think that's what we're gonna we're we're getting you get to you know it becomes that like. Yeah, as people who, as people, we've been we we love sneakers, we love all this shit. But at the same time, it's like it's a costly ha a habit, and you have to genuinely look and say, "All right, well, I just got these. All right, I got to get rid. I'm getting rid of something because you only have two feet." Yeah, I was set, I was sitting on a pair. I've been sitting on a pair of Royal Toad Jordan ones, and I think that'll I'll flip those. I'll get rid of those. Yes. Yeah. Exactly what's what's interesting to me is a lot of time yeah you there are certain things you just gotta fucking get rid of you know it's like all right i just do i want to keep my you know do i want to keep my japan's or my royal toes like you you can't everything is like you know it's a decision I, man it is and i think that's what but as people who are into this hobby you have to realize that like as much as you want everything you, you just you can't keep everything because you'll just you'll fucking go crazy you you'll spend so much money so um i am like i said i'm i'm excited uh chris was talking about some backdoor shit uh mm -hmm. you chris was lucky enough to uh finally get uh the sneaker i think that he's been wanting uh all I'm close. year i'm close oh. i so i have uh, a 10 and a half now well, let's let's explain to the listeners what you got. You got yeah. a pair of fragment Jordan threes. So that you I, were looking for. Yeah, I was talking about on the pod. He pulled the trigger. Um. Well, see, lucky enough, this is this is where like I get to be like sort of um, I guess quote unquote blessed or whatever the term is now, like the industry mm -hmm. term for just having friends that work at companies. Mm -hmm. I vocalized to everyone I knew that I wanted those fragment threes and that I overslept on the sneakers release. Um, so I was lucky enough to have one sent to me. It's just my wrong size. So now for the first time in my life, I have to find a swap. This has never been an issue for me before. I've never had, I've, if I've had the wrong size, it's because I chose to do so, which I think we all sneakerheads have a period in their life where we don't care what size the shoe is as long as we get it. I have some 10 and a half that I'm not proud of back at my mom's house. Uh, but that's not the I game now. I rod ones that are a size and a half up. Uh, dude, I bought, I remember I bought, uh, back when G Unit was with Reebok, they only had a pair of twelves left, and I'm a nine and a half. I bought a twelve in some G Unit shoes just because I wanted them so bad. Oof. It's the whitest move I possibly could have yeah. made. <laughs> I don't care. I have to have the G Units. No, but like, there's always that phase. So now, for the first time in my life, I have the shoes that I want. I was lucky enough to get them. One of my friends sent them to me free, and I have the wrong size now. So now I'm hunting for a guy who's willing or or girl to trade with me. You know, I I, used to, I, t I think I texted you. Uh, my go-to stuff like this would be I would go to round two. But mm -hmm. what you have to do is round two is very – because there's no – they don't answer their phones. You have to kind of look at their Instagram, see what they post. All right? Yeah. So if they be like, we have Fragment 3 is brand new, size 9, 9.5, then at that point, 
uh, then at that point, you can then go to them. And this is all pre-COVID. So I don't know what their rules are for taking, you know, you sneak, you know, trades. Uh, so, and then you, you give them like $30 and that was, you know, and yeah. that was it. So I, uh, I tried to fall like, cause all pre-COVID shit, like I knew about this. So, I, but mm-hmm. during COVID I'm like, they can't really expect you to let us like go there. Right. So mm-hmm. I tried calling, uh, no, there was no answer. Like I tried like five separate times. They didn't pick up. There was, don't I don't even know up. if it was a different number, but I got an answering machine that was like, yo, we're not taking phone. We don't do stuff over the phone. Like you mm-hmm. got to come here. Um, so I guess I'm going to go tomorrow. I don't know. I want to go well, see. Well, once again, like I said, what you want to do is you want to kind of comb their Instagram. Yeah. Like, which I have gone to, you go on there. So, and then a lot of times, like I said, they will, uh, they will post, you know, when they get shoes, that's how a lot of times, like I was able to flip, you know, I was able to get a size that I needed in, in a shoe that I wanted. So I would do that. Um, there's also some other stores in New York. Um, I forgot the name of it. Damn. It, 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 there's some like in, in uh, Soho. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I forgot the name. It's, too. it's fucking, it's right by Broadway Lafayette on the train station too. It's a very yeah. Rare, yeah. rare, rare pair. I think yes. it's a rare pair. It's, it's something like that. It's something really shoe related. Rare, I think it's rare pair. And, and you can, you know, I, I remember I was able to uh, swap a pair of uh, Yeezy 750s for my right size that I ended up selling anyway. But <laughs> you can check those type of places. But, I, you know, once again, I'm not sure how, um, a lot of these places want to would do things with COVID. So, yeah. you know, good luck though. I mean, they're very nice shoe. I'm glad you were able to get them. And uh, yeah, man, let's uh, You're one step closer, buddy. You got this. It's uh, it's an interesting week for us though, because usually not all three of us are on the W side. No, not nah, Chris. We we all are. We fucking win all the time. That's why we have all the we do is win, <laughs> no matter what. Oh, no matter what. Jesus Christ, Chris. Yeah, no, we but went, you know we, what I'm saying though. Like all th- could. My man, three times you got the ill shit. I got the one I really wanted. Like this, we win constantly. But I mean, like the, we got big wins. You know what I mean? Like we can sure. champion some big wins. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, listen, I'm happy that we all fucking we did our thing. Um, we got, you know, we got a lot of things coming up. Uh, I know one thing I'm trying to win so I can fucking flip is those the Supreme Box logo hoodies. Cause that's it's box logo hoodie season soon, Ooh. and and talking about Supreme, they just uh, it just got sold, right? Mm-hmm. To yeah. VF for two point one billy. No. Second time they've they've been shifted around, right? It's the craziest resale I've ever seen. They re- resold themselves somehow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for the first time, the first time they sold to the I think it's called the Carmichael Group or something, uh, something real official looking. And then um, they resold the oh, whole no. thing to VF, which is, I'm sure is everyone who's listening to the podcast already knows now. They own North Face, and they own Timberland, and they own Vans. Ooh. Do you have a Wall Street Journal subscription? <laughs> no. I. <laughs> Why would you give me a Wall Street Journal link if you don't have a Wall Street Journal subscription? <laughs> you You're need setting a this podcast to up to fail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you fool you fool <laughs> i mean you know what's crazy about this to me is the it's whenever they sold the first time I'll, i'm gonna pull it up luke uh whenever they sold the first okay. time there was all these dead memes like rest in peace tombstone like and i'm seeing the same shit again i'm like you guys just don't get it that's not how this works you're still gonna go every tuesday or thursday excuse me at 10 a.m yeah and try to buy this shit 11 a.m 11 11 a.m. Chris. 11, 11. Yeah, come on, man. What are you? Is your first day? It's your, yes, your first day. Fucking with Supreme. Yeah, 11. I've never liked brand. this brand. Oh, really? Yes. You designed our entire logo around this brand. That's a true. Podcast around. Our, yes, and our, and our, our podcast is Future of Font for no reason. Fuck right? Called <laughs> Sup. It's it's short for no reason. No reason, right, Chris? No, I'm, it, I'm, I'm holding a red <laughs> microphone because I don't like it. Right? We could have called it the Fashion Guys podcast, and then you fucking. And we could have made a million hits in the first year. You wouldn't even have me right now. You'd have some rich Asian right now. You'd have, you're fucking dumbfounded. You'd have Jeff Staples on here. You'd have fucking Jeff Staples. Look, I respect it. Oh, Carlisle Group. I respect the shit out of brand. It's hard to argue the, the monumental things that this brand has done as far as yeah. this space. Yeah. But, like, the, the, the dead shit, like, you guys just are stupid if you think this, this is over. 
Like anyone who's <laughs> posting that, like rest in peace, Supreme. Like you did this four years ago whenever the fuck it sold the first time, and then you were still back at Thursday at eleven. That's it's true. not dead. This is the this is the dream. This is it right here. From coming from the design side, uh huh. Like, you started making T-shirts, bro. Now you two point one billion off of a off of future of fun that's it like a box logo off of a box logo off of barbara kruger yeah crazy yeah it's uh it is it is crazy i mean so i mean everyone you know it's funny every time supreme is in the news for you know selling it they're like oh supreme's gonna be in zoomies and this is that what's expected out of this now what's going on yeah everyone that think everyone thinks they're they're gonna like uh it's gonna go all corporate and like uh, well, yeah, the first thing the they're zoomies. doing is making more, more, like it says it right here. The first thing that they're trying to do is open more Supreme stores, which is a totally understandable. They're trying to have a, like a, they want to keep it in house. They want to keep it on their shit, which is why they're, I don't know why people are saying it's going to end up in Pac Sun. They don't end it's up not anywhere end up in Pac Sun. It's going to be the next Pac Sun. That's nah, what people he, are worried about. Well, that's what I think. Yeah, people are always worried about that with Supreme. You know, it's like the, the exclusivity. Uh, of the gone. brand is gone but it's like that's 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 how you want this is how this brand wanted to grow because mm-hmm. there's other brands that don't really do that you know Con- look at concepts concepts just throws more money into their into their pieces right i mean yeah but all right here here's the thing so aside from like the it's 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 not really dead they're retaining mm-hmm. all of their creative control of the brand they're yeah. not they're not gonna be there's no corporate suits coming in and going to be like, all right, yeah, we're going to expand and wholesale and licensing. Like, they're not doing that. Put a, put a Supreme logo on my suit. Put a Supreme logo on my suit. And, you know, I'm surprised they haven't done a Supreme, like, full suit. Like a tuxedo. Um, I'm sure it's coming. Yeah. But it's... it's, it's the, <laughs> how long was it supposed to last, also? Yeah. These kids being mad on the internet is like this the funniest shit because you can really feel like their disappointment like the supreme guy you know who i'm talking about the supreme guy on instagram he had that long heartfelt post of like oh the brand is dead i will no longer be the supreme guy I can't believe this shit He's still gonna be the supreme guy yeah, still, still. <clears throat> but people being mad it's like so what did you want these guys to make t-shirts forever you wanted to have james jebbia like 80 like creative directing uh, another set of box logo tees. Oh, they need him pressing those shirts himself, man. It's it, how long is this shit supposed to last? Look, brands don't last that long anymore. Everything is microwaved. This started in '94. A Life is around from '99, but not even at the same. Like all these old brands, Stussy ain't like. Yeah. These dudes have like been around, but you can't get over this lump. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they're just doing what they got to do to keep it going. Yeah. Wow. Am I wrong? No, 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 you're right. These people I'm, getting mad at it, though, is just so ridiculous. Like, dead. What are you talking about, dead? All, your whole closet is this shit. When you're going to stop buying it because Fiat so, owns yeah, it? Exactly. So don't buy the cross hoodie. Don't buy the cross hoodie then. Like, now they're in, they're closer partners with the people that they've already been collabing with. It's true. They're in, no. it's the same house now. You guys are still going to buy the, uh, the North Face. You're still going to buy the Timberlands. You're still going to buy the Vans. Still going to buy the Nikes. You're all still buying this shit. Not wrong. No, this not is wrong. the only culture that I've been a part of where the people say the lame shit is what they buy. Yeah. People are saying that Supreme is dead, but then they're waiting in line for it. That's how, that's how it goes. It's how only, but only time will tell because I think, like I said, I mean, obviously the brand isn't dead. I mean, there's still so much excitement when you see a pair of Supreme uh, Dunks. You know, that's, I mean, the brand is still there's, it's not dead. And every time we see the lookbook for the new season, you know, the preview, people are going fucking crazy. So I don't, I, I think like saying it's dead, and and people still are trying to flip box logos and and certain pieces. So I can't call it dead, but at the same time, you know, it definitely. <laughs> It, it's not it's not the 2000 and you know nine 2000 you know eight supreme like it's yeah. you know it's 2020 is different you know it's completely different so um i definitely i look forward to seeing where it goes so i mean luke what did you think when you first saw this headline uh I, it really didn't i don't know i was just like uh 
like, oh, okay, this is this happened, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm still gonna, I still only own like two pieces of Supreme, like this, this mic and a and a shirt at this point, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it's like if I see something I like from them, I'll pick it up. If if anything, this makes it more accessible, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it'll be, you know, if, if I like something from a collection, I'll probably buy it. But everything else, it's like, whatever, who cares? If they you retain know. their, like, uh, their, their minimum quantity, uh, but a lot of options, you know, like something coming out every Thursday, like they've been doing, but it's going to sell out in the first five minutes, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's still mean, not going yeah, anywhere. It's, still, it's not going anywhere, bro. No, I mean, you know what needs to, you know what needs to go somewhere? You know what honestly needs to go? That fucking sneakerhead show. That's what really needs to go. Fuck, dude. We're, I we're, forgot. We were having a good episode. We were. <laughs> it's uh, the worst show <laughs> that's ever existed. I don't, I don't know, man. <clears throat> All right. So what happens in this episode? So I watched this one on Saturday. They, they go to they go Japan. To Hon- yeah. Oh, Hong Kong. Kong. Yeah, they go to Hong Kong. Go to Hong Kong, and they meet. They meet an imaginary Jason Statham, mm-hmm. which is so, why, again, I, this is my problem. You have so many cameos on this show, and then you use a character that's supposed to be famous, and this is the one where you drop the ball. It's like it's stupid. Like just keep. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It just looks stupid. It's just stupid writing. Yeah, it's bad writing. It's, it's okay. So here, yeah. here, just to, to remind the audience, if this is their first uh, episode listening to us, uh, we've uh, week by week been going over the Netflix sneakerhead show, which I believe is a complex back show. Yes, um, it is a complex back show. We are on episode five, which uh, Devin and King Bach, who's still wearing a backpack, goes to Hong Kong to chase the legendary Jordan Zeros. That apparently some British guy is gonna be wearing at an InSync concert, which are apparently just SBs. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> am I wrong? Are they just SB highs? Oh, That's it? We we don't know if that Norwegian guy. Hold on, we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. I can't believe that my synopsis of what we were doing was an actual truth <laughs> full sentence that I just said. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. They have five hours in Hong Kong uh, yeah. to get the shoes and then go back on the plane home so Devin can be at his <laughs> house <laughs> before his wife gets back at Monday at, at five because she left at him. Monday at five because we know, we know, listen, new listeners, we know this because his wife told him about three times at the end of the episode <laughs> that she was going to be back Monday, Monday at, at five. five. Monday at five. So, Start okay. Up- <laughs> they start up the B the B plot line after we've established that we're on a plane right now. All right, mm-hmm, Jason mm-hmm. Statham's in, in in first class. Baron Davis is not in first class. He's in not coach. in first class. He's in coach. He's in coach, and he's mad about it. Why he needed to be there, I don't know. <laughs> it really serves no purpose to for storytelling purposes. Uh, King Badge goes to the bathroom, meets Jason Statham, gets his card. They start bullshitting. Cut back to L.A. Who's in the fucking house? Not wife? Monday at 5 p.m., but the fucking wife. <laughs> he came mm-hmm. back to uh, get one of the kids' toys. Mm-hmm. And guess what? She's fucking mad that he's not there. After mm-hmm. she just explained, Monday at 5. <laughs> Monday at 5. She's a bad wife, guys. She's a bad fucking wife. <laughs> Yo, all right. So then, like, she goes into the bedroom. <clears throat> and she finds the card from the person who works at Unbeaten, the chick Gina. Yeah, I'd be concerned too if there was a girl named Gina mm-hmm. that works at Unbeaten. Unbeaten, which he definitely beat. So, <laughs> <laughs> yo, this did, did a twelve-year-old so did a twelve-year-old write this show? I have to meet one of the writers. I think a 12-year-old wrote the show, and then a sneakerhead editor came in after and was like, no, 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 these are the Oregon Fours. Mm-hmm. Did Joe mm-hmm. LaPuma write this? I think Joe LaPuma wrote this. It is, uh, yes. Holy shit. <laughs> all right, so wait, all right, all right. So basically, right, <laughs> this episode, Explain I will say. Story. I will. I will. Hold on. But I want to lead with this. This episode, okay. I think, does an actual good job of explaining what the, the nod is. Because we've talked about the nod before. 
They mm, mentioned it right. on like the first episode, I think, or the second. Um, first episode. So basically, Devin's angry wife, because she finds Gina's number on the unbeaten business card, mm-hmm. she goes. Uh, she goes there to, to confront this Gina lady, which is the chick who like basically runs unbeaten. She's the unbeaten lady. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Gia, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gia, Gia. Excuse me, I said Gina. Gia, Gia, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who yeah. mm-hmm. is a baddie, by the way, for an older yeah. uh, uh, sneakerhead lady? Baddie, correct. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So she goes and confronts uh, Gia about um, fucking with her man, right? And she's like, mm-hmm. yo, not me, whatever. Like, And they're about to fight, but then uh, the store security is like, yo, is everything good here? And she's like, nah. So the next thing you know, they're at a Chinese restaurant together eating dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is like weird. Like they just, so they went from almost about to fight to eating dinner, looking for bags and shit. Yeah, so uh, Gia introduces, like, the, all right, I'm going to explain to you what's cool about getting, like, this shit, like, this cool shit or whatever. I'm going to help explain what the nod is to you, pretty much. Mm-hmm. The ch- like, the chase of the, sh- of the thing. This was the most unrealistic uh, acquisition of a purse I've ever seen in my entire, like, yo. No, it so- doesn't happen like that. So like that. Mm-hmm. not even close. Like what sort of representation are they trying to like, do, do they, th- they're trying to sell Hold on what you're missing the biggest point of all, instead of paying for her meal at the Chinese restaurant, she <laughs> trades the waiter, a pair of fucking shoes mm-hmm. as if this meal was not over a hundred dollars. Cause you know, neither of them eat that much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There was still it's so like, much food on the table. There was food on the table. It wasn't even a lot. It was mm-hmm. a Chinese restaurant. It's going to be like 80 bucks at most. Yep. You got finessed, lady. <laughs> well, it was the slip. She, she, they, she, it, was, it was all for the slip, really, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The slip uh, for the information for weed. <laughs> for fucking weed. Yo, yo, they got fucking... <laughs> they, got, they got us trying to... They basically were saying that, like, yo, in order to buy a shoe that you really want, you have to sell weed. You, you have to know a guy who makes weed. You don't, you don't have to sell weed. You have to know a guy who makes weed, buy it off of him for about market price. So there is – there's yeah, not – no, go, Lawrence. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, they do know uh, – they make every ethnic group look horrible. There's not one group of people that they represent correctly – in a good That's light. That's the one thing. That mm-hmm. is the one thing we can say. This is an equal opportunity ass beating for everybody. For everyone. Yep. The there was yeah. credit where, where credit is due. The Asian is corny. <laughs> yeah. The, the white people are corny. The black people are corny. The Spanish people are corny. corny. Everyone's corny. Actually, in the show. Spanish aren't even present. I don't think. Everyone's corny in the show. Um. Poor writing. Let, let's kind of, because I don't want to, because I feel like the, I don't want to keep talking about the show, but the final part about it was, so King Bach and whatever the other dude's name is, uh, what's his name? Devin. Derek? Devin. Devin. They're in Hong Kong. They finally get the shoes. They're high, that they talk, they get the shoes that they're looking for from this dude from the Netherlands, because they, King Bach's wearing a pair of shoes that the Netherlands do like, so they sw- swap it out. And everything is good. We got the shoes. But they're they're SBs though. They're SBs. Only problem is King Bach stole a pair of sunglasses and and didn't mean to. And now the Hong Kong police are like, "You're going to jail, black man." He's. They said you're doing ten years, and we're cutting off your your hand, hands, uh, for thirty cent sunglasses. Yeah, they don't. They don't do that. They don't cut off your hand, but in all fairness, I think you know we've seen that uh, the uh, the Chinese police can be a little. Uh, I did see that with Levar Ball's son. Yeah. They were trying to fucking make a. a oh yeah, they know. try to make a big stink about something dumb. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, we got one more episode, guys, to review, and then after that, we're uh, we're done. So <laughs> we're done. well, wait, hold on. We have to we have to talk about the biggest reveal, which is they're going to call Jason Statham to get them out of Hong Kong prison. Yes. yes. You got Jason one phone call. Fucking state them. They don't call a lawyer. They don't call the guy who drove him there, I guess. The Norwegian guy. They call Jason Statham, baby. Jason fucking Statham. 
I wonder how that five grand uh, is going to come back to bite Devin in the ass. Oh, it will. Oh, it it better. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh yeah, wait. We didn't even talk about how the uh, the wife they went to the shoe the the bag place. They get the bag like she gets the opportunity to buy the bag at three thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and then she says no. Yeah, mm-hmm. she walks out. Yeah, and it was like, well, yeah, because <laughs> of course you wouldn't do that. You're not gonna yeah. just drop three grand in two seconds. It's just oh. yeah, it's that show. I can't. I can't. I can't. All, all this lady did was be like, oh, you want to know why your husband likes this shit? Let me waste your entire fucking day instead of just telling you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not a good show, guys. Um, I think, I think that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hypeless heat, baby. Oh, yeah. Hypeless heat. Hypeless heat. I'll go first because uh, I got mine up already. God, I'm so mad we have to watch that show again. Mm-hmm. Um, Hypo Heat this week for me is I'm going back to uh, Mizuno. Um, I like these Wave Runner uh, Seashore colorways. Uh, I was telling the guys before the podcast that this, like, I'm going to just call it Sail just because I think most people will recognize the color as Sail. Um, this Sail, like, you know, aged white color that sort of has been running around. Like, not only Travis shoes have been on them. Uh, I mean, the Sail 4 and 5s came out. Uh, I think this is just a great alternative. To, if, like, if you like the color, and you want to be able to rock the color with some of the apparel that's coming out to match this shit. Like this is just, you can find shoes that have the color that are also just good shoes. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, uh, this is a beautiful shoe. I like this a yeah, lot. I do like that. I still like the color. Yeah. Bro. It yeah. feels like a, it feels like a, like a, it feels like a, like a sale Jordan. And then like a, what do you call it? A, like an actual wave run, like a 700 easy. It's great. These like it. all these like I'll say like a sixty brands because I think that's probably the most known to the regular consumer. That's not you know what I mean mm-hmm. at least in the U S. and the states. Like all these brands have really good shoes that I think people just because it doesn't have a check or three strikes on them they're just like nah fuck that. But it's like that's the Netflix sneakerhead mentality, guys. Like Netflix has those two brands in that show period for a reason, and it's just because that's the dumbest level. It's surface level shit. Like you guys got to get out of the swoosh. You got to get out of the three stripes sometimes. Like we all love the jump man and all this other shit, but like you got to wear some regular shit sometimes. Okay. Uh, speaking of that, I have three stripes for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> My pick this week are the Bape unde- un- unbeaten Adidas ZX eight thousand, baby. <laughs> Uh, so these, these, I thought were going to be kind of a hype pair. Um, but I'm looking at it right now and most sizes are still available. Uh, this is Sunday night that we're recording this. So I, I think it falls under hypeless heat on some level. If it's still available on the, on the website, not really sold out yet, but the green pair is fucking beautiful. I love them a lot. Uh, the colorway is really nice. Uh, and I have no clue how I'm going to style them, but I got these pairs as well. Making my grand total for the week, four fucking pairs. Jesus Christ, bro. So, bo- baby boy's got to move some shit. Baby boy definitely has to move some shit. Uh, Look, you're a baller, dude. No, chill. I'm going <laughs> to have mad sneakers and no house. Like, you're going to see these, these boxes are going to start piling up. And you're going to be like, are you actually inside, Luke? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not inside. <laughs> I just got my computer, <laughs> a LAN connection, and my boxes. It's fucking funny. Um, oh, what do you got? I'll pull it up for you. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, Air Jordan 10 Steel. Ooh. Uh, I Air think they're Jordan just, 10 uh, Steel. I think the, the, the 10s are underrated uh, um, silhouette. 2013? And, um, That's not right? Yeah. To, yeah. There's uh there's multiple. I mean, there's been multiple Air Jordan Ten, but uh. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, Air Jordan Ten steals. Uh, and uh, yeah, just a simple white, black, gray colorway. Uh, definitely, uh, it's got some heat to it. I mean, tens don't usually sell out, or people don't usually go crazy for tens. So I think this is a perfect uh, uh, hypo seat. 
Yeah, no, yeah. I agree with you, man. These are what I, I always just appreciate a Jordan that you can wear with anything. And this is just one of those ones that you can wear with anything. You're not going to be too, mm-hmm. too committed to red or blue or, you know, one of the other core colors. Like, just throw this on with anything. I, I like the Jordan 10. I think it's interesting because we, we look at, you know, we look at the 11, the Jordan 11 as being the, 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 the one of the most, um, what's the best way to put it? Uh, one of the it's, coveted. It's so not coveted, but it's like one of the most wearable. Uh, not wearable, but it's like one of the most, uh, it's something that a lot of people just like want. It's like a corporate Jordan in a, in a sense where, and I'm not, not corporate, but it's not like underground, like everyone and their mother, like all oh, patent oh, leather. Mainstream. mainstream. Yes. That's yeah. the word I was yeah, looking for. It's one go. of the most mainstream Jordans. But I think the 10, which, which, uh, which came out before it and Jordan didn't play in the 10s because he was retired. Uh, I think it doesn't get the love that it truly deserves. And I think the steel is a perfect colorway for that. So there we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I never even realized that L that he, yeah, he never played in these. Yeah. He played. Yeah. He went from, <clears throat> yep. Well, at least the year they came out, he never played them. The nines, the nines and the tens. I don't really remember him playing in like that. The so nine. the nines were featured in, um, what do you call it? Uh, Space Jam. I know that. <laughs> that I know for sure. The nines and the elevens you mean? Yeah, the well, the nines were yes, and the and the elevens, of course. Okay, but, yeah, yes, yeah, the yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So I mean, we we look at like the you know Jordan. Maybe he did play. In, I'm not sure about the nines, but I know definitely the tens were not. He was not playing in the tens. Mm-hmm. So it, you know what? And like the 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 co branded projects on the tens kind of get slept on too. I remember public school New York had, had a great one, and I feel like it kind of like got slept on. Yeah, uh, public school. Then Drake did the OVOs. You know, there was some good ten. So, man, just the power of Jordan. If he didn't play him, like, where's the hype? That's crazy. But yeah, that's a great pick, L. Thank you. I guess that's it, guys. Do we have any other thoughts before we go? Thank you for listening to this podcast. That's <clears throat> my thought. Okay, um, I'm just saying we put PlayStation and then sub podcast underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> new merch idea <laughs> i i like i like i like I i'll like. text becky right now see if she can get something <laughs> pressed up for us we have to do another photo shoot then i like i like <laughs> um so you could follow the podcast on instagram at sub podcast nyc uh there on the instagram we have a <clears throat> excuse me we have a phone number that you could text leave a voicemail if you want to have get leave us a question or anything to sort of talk about on air we also have a uh, email that you can email, subpackersnyc uh, at gmail.com. You can follow Lawrence on Instagram and all of the platforms, I believe, at LZD325. Same thing with Luke at Trevisus. Same thing with me at not that Cheney, C-H-E-N-E-Y. Uh, and join the Discord. That's Pop. where all the listeners hang out that are active, that talk to us. Um, and actually, we have a giveaway this week. Um, one of the uh, listeners uh, does his own tie dye. He has like a tie dye service that he has. Uh, do or die on Instagram with a three. Uh, mm-hmm. There's going to be something this week where uh, just a regular Instagram contest. Follow us, him, and then we pick a winner. And then you're, we're basically going to send you some shit. So look That's forward it. to that. That's yes. it. There you go. There you go. All righty, guys. So we'll talk to you next week. All right. Peace. Peace.